In Central, we having some technical difficulties. All right, then we gotta go like this. How is everybody's doing? How is everybody doing? What's up, Three Coast? Hey. St. Louis. What's up, everybody? Yo, this is my first time going live on YouTube, so I didn't know how to maneuver it. But we going live um, to let everyone know that um, I will be... Some things is about to change. A lot of stuff is about to come about with the 337 Fishing Queen and Crew. We have a lot of stuff stirring up right now. Give me a second, y'all. Let's get this together. All right, there we go. We got a lot of things that's about to come about with the 337 Fisher Queen and crew. So, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited that they have a we have a lot like cooking. Um as most know, I did um uh, link up with SS Films who will be um doing my filming now. So it's going to be way better quality and better videos and things like that, y'all, that we will be doing. <coughs> <clears throat> That's one of the major steps. It's about to be a huge, major, like a huge step for me and my kids. But uh, tonight, while we talk and mingle, I'm going to make some leaders. For those that um that has been watching, y'all kind of know how I make my leaders and things like that. We're going to be using tonight some um, 8-Eyed. 8-Eyed um, Circle Hooks. From Tuckers Freaking Rides. The website for those uh, hooks is tfrides.com. And um, you can use code 337queen to uh, get 10% off. We're going to be using tonight to make these leaders. This type of wire. I really don't use this wire whenever I make my leaders. I start this is what I started off with, okay? Um, but as we talk, you know, I'm just gonna show y'all the process of what I do with my leaders. Also, we're gonna use the um these type of swivels. Hold on, let me take it out of the bag. Yes, new content coming, y'all. It's coming, it's coming. SS Films is in the building, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, SS Films. Look, we will be using some of uh, those swivels and, of course, the sleeves. So let's get to it. We got Rich. Well, Re Wait, just a Hey y'all, what's up? I tried to turn the camera like that, but it told me, like it stopped the recording. Let's try again. See? Can y'all see me? Is it still recording? <coughs> oh, 
Oh, you know what? Hold on. Maybe. Is it doing now? No. It's not letting me record like that. It's telling me to put it back like this. It's not, it's not letting me do it. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> okay, this is the first. This is a trial and error video, y'all. All right? We trying some stuff. Could y'all still see me, though, even though it was sideways? Could you still see me? Would it be in sideways like that? Okay, well, cool. We could go sideways. Can y'all turn y'all's device sideways so that y'all can see me? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's roll with it. That's why I need to get a laptop. All right, cool. So here we go. I can't see the comments. Y'all see that while you? Nope. All right. I usually do like three to four foot with my alligator guard. Hold on, y'all. All right. Put it back. I'm so lost in a sauce right now. I ain't lying to you. But this is a trial and error video. But anyways, I appreciate all 59 of y'all up in here. Here we go, y'all. This is the wire that I, I, I actually started off with to make my leaders, right? So I usually do like three to four foot for my alligator bar. I notice whenever I use my three and four foot leaders uh, for Gar and the Bull Reds pick it up. The Bull Reds, whenever they um go there and um choke the hooks and stuff like that, it kind of goes down pretty far too. And they also have teeth. Okay. Y'all, I'm sorry. That's my producer. He getting me right. Okay, here we go. What? You're okay. Go take a bag. Emma, you know that I bought that? Okay, go take a bag. Okay, go take a bag. All right, take a bag. Okay, lay down. All right, here we go. Let's make some leaders. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek. We working on it. We getting it. These are the snips I use from out of the fishing section from Walmart. If y'all got questions, just go ahead and feel free to answer. I mean, to ask them, and I will respond to y'all um, as long as it is positive. But like I said, we got some new content coming out. Um, better content. Um, like a lot of things stirring up that is about to start happening differently with the 337 Fishing Queen and crew. So, y'all, I just need everybody to bear with us and hang tight because some stuff is about to happen. What, baby? Um, pick hard on it, put me no cereal. Okay, I'm making a video. Can you tell how to make it? Fix you some cereal? Thank you. No, Harley! Make him some cereal now. Okay. This is the wire. We use the double barrel sleeves, right? You got two double barrel sleeves for each end. And you got one of the snowballs and a hook, right? Man, Harley. So, what I do is, I take that, and I go on one side, whatever side, you know, to uh, do my 
hook all my swivel, whichever one. You do your sleeve or whatever. And then we'll go with the swivel first. Which this sleeve is kind of uh, big for this, but it's going to work. We're going to make do. And then you make a loop, right? Like that. And pinch it. I get, I'm making this because I get a lot of questions about how you make your leaders. How you do this, you, how you do that. And it's like, what leaders you use and what tackle you use it. And it's like, this is what I use. I am also sponsored with um, Third Coast Fishing out of Dallas, Texas that um, also has some leaders for me for the uh, garfish and also the um, bull reds. Um, and if you use like my code 337 um, queen, it gives you a discount. So here you go. That's one side of the leader. <coughs> they are very simple to make and it's not time consuming at all. I'm live. Alright, here y'all go. That is not funny, Charlie. That right there is not funny. <laughs> Anybody got some questions for me, y'all? Anybody, anybody, somebody? Hold tight. I got some little hand doing quick. Cool. Give me a second, y'all. I'm coming right back. Oh, Jesus. It gotta be my chilling. How long I've been catching fish? Since I was, I've been fishing since I was four years old, Keisha. Give me a second. My bad, y'all. All right, Ellie, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyways, this is the end result of that leader. That's the end result of the leader. Just that fast. Got a leader made. I'm going to use these for uh, bull reds tomorrow, actually. They just want my attention with my children. Actually, that's another story, but yeah, that's not what that is. <laughs> Anybody else got some questions for me? Anybody, anybody, anybody? But yes, uh, Keisha, I've been fishing since I was four. My stepdaddy taught me how to fish. <laughs> um, we started off fishing, um, we started off fishing in freshwater, so I was catching goose, catfish, mudfish, stuff like that. Um, we never really fished, um, saltwater. If we did fish saltwater, it was like crabbing and stuff. It was never nothing else. Do you use live bait? Sometimes, not all the time. I find that with my alligator guard, because that is my go-to fish. My alligator guard, um, they bite on, um, frozen old soft bait, stink bait, um, faster than, uh, the live. 
that's what I see. Uh, there we go. Okay. When I'm going to catch Gar, so I've been out trying to catch Gar. The Garfish is just really not um, biting right now for some reason. I've been trying, I've been after Gar. I've been seeing people catch Gar, but <laughs> for some reason, like, I've been catching bull reds more than anything, and it's crazy because I'm actually fishing for garfish, and the bull reds grab my line. So, yeah. But like I was saying, uh, we started off in freshwater fishing, and um, I that's all I knew until I seen guys on you know social media catching these big garfish, and um. Usually, I used to cut my line when I get a hold to a garfish. Okay, there we go. Now I got it. Um, usually, I cut my line whenever I get a hold to a big garfish, but... I saw everybody catching the, the garfish and I wanted some of the action too. So whenever I um I reached out to some of the guys to like show me um how to catch the alligator gar. I went out just one time with someone and they showed me how to catch the alligator gar and then ever since then I fell in love with catching big fish. So I don't fish freshwater anymore like talking about it. It's very seldom I go uh, to freshwater to fish. I mainly go to um, saltwater, right? Um, so I'm really going after the alligator gar, but my go-to fish is alligator gar, um, catfish, stuff like that. And I see that my fans, everyone love to, um, my followers love to see me catch the bull reds. So which is what been biting my line anyways. I think y'all jinxed me because I'm not catching. I have not caught a garfish yet this year. You a master at cleaning gar? Congratulations. <laughs> Anybody else got some questions for me? But um, my go-to spot is uh, Pont -a -Shank. I don't give up my actual location of where I go but I fish the marsh which is where the alligator guard actually hang out at I have I have not been out to Point of Shane yet this year besides with my women's trip that I had um but I I really didn't fish it like as if how I wanted to because I had so many women that actually showed up for my event <coughs> but Coming soon, I will be headed out to um, Point of Shame to try to catch alligator guard at the marsh. I use Toughest Freaking Rides. That is my sponsor. So those are my rides I use. The reels I use is a uh, pin. The pin of uh, Fierce 3. But yeah, anybody else got some questions? Let me see. What else we could talk about? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know what is this. <coughs> the women's trip was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would love to do it again with the women. Um, we just got to set it up, but yes, it's us films. Thank you. So, like I said at the beginning, we will have new content. We will be pushing out some better videos, higher quality videos. Um... Some other things is happening. 
Oh uh, yeah, I don't I don't think I can talk about it now, but we kind of working on it. So, yo, I know y'all gonna continue to follow and watch and everything, but I should do a kids fishing trip. Um, I do wanna do a kids fishing trip, but as of right now. It's just a lot on the back end of it after I didn't looked into it. And it's like, I, that's just a different story. But uh, it's coming. It's coming. Right, 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 right. No. No. Okay, go do it in the room. <clears throat> but um I know a lot of my videos has been short and I'm going to also try to begin to go live more often what's the largest garfish you caught 7-3 I don't know how much it weighed I did not weigh it but it was 7 foot 3 7 foot 3 and it was a fight <laughs> it was a big boy Any more questions? See, and I don't catch my guard like most people. Um, the garfish, whenever I fish for them, I scale my mullet. I run my leader through my mullet with a clothes hanger. And then uh, once I th like throw it out and the garfish um, pick up the bait, I let them run for about mm, maybe like five to ten minutes. Or whatever, or sometimes, like if a garfish take off with it, I let them go until they stop. And when they take off again, I knew when they stopped that they already didn't swallow it. This when I hit it, compared to some other fishermen, soon as the garfish grab the uh, the bait, they end up they end up uh, setting the hook. But yeah, I don't do that. What's your PB catfish? Thirty pounds. Oh my God, don't do that. I never stole no fish from no. Colin just, I, I, y'all hear that noise? I don't know. Colin just a different breed. I don't, I don't even know what to say. He was sleeping and they woke him up. Now he's in full force. I can't go live with him awake. <laughs> you let him run? Yeah, I let him run. I let them run to make sure they didn't swallow their good. Now, and the, some people might try uh, wonder why is it that um, I scale my mullet before I toss it out. That's because if you notice, whenever you throw out a mullet um, not scaled, and then you reel it in or whatever after they picked it up and um, and let it go. Oh my God, Colin needs to stop. Hold tight, y'all. Jesus, be a foot. Stop. Go ahead and crash. Go right to your I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He needs his own YouTube channel. <laughs> But whenever you scale the mullet, I mean, whenever you scale the mullet for the garfish, it's easier for them to swallow it. If you don't scale it, they're going to scale it themselves and it's going to take longer for them to swallow it because they like go play with it and scale the mullet themselves. So if you throw a mullet out for a garfish and you didn't scale it, you're going to notice whenever you rid it, it's going to be scaled because that's what they do. Um, they scale the mullet before they actually swallow it. But I'm going to have content on that as well coming soon. Um, on showing y'all how I scale my mullet and how I thread my leader through. That's going to be a part of the new content. Um, plus, it's going to be, you know, a higher quality. Um, and it's not going to be my kids recording. <laughs> so, yeah. It's going to be something that make you want to, yeah, you know, like it's a view them. So, Right, right, right. See, 
<laughs> yeah, so they do scale their own money. I mean, they do scale the money before they, they swallow it around. But um, I saw somebody had asked about my PB catfish. My PB catfish is 30 pounds, but um, as soon as I bring my boat to my sponsor to, like, you know, um, fix it up and things like that, it's not broken on it. It's just he want to, like, pimp it out, basically. <laughs> Once I bring it to him and he do it, finish up everything with it and wrap it, um, we're going to start going into the Mississippi River for the big 50, 60, 70 pound catfish. So we're going to start entering tournaments for that as well. Um, what else? Somebody else got a question? Pimp my boat. <laughs> he did already like sketched it out and things like that. And it's like so cool. It's, it's nice. I like it. I can't wait. Kylie, go in the room. But y'all be prepared. Be ready. Let's make another leader. For those that's just kind of tuning in. I usually don't use this. This right here is 20 pounds. I usually use like Mm. I really don't know how many pounds the one I actually use because it's like construction wire of what I use. Hey, Mr. Roger. It's like a construction wire of what I use Mama, I for my leaders. No, Kylie. I'm Thank you, Rock. I appreciate I'm you. Papa show. Okay, go watch Paw Patrol in the room. Yeah, I gotta do this when he's sleeping. Oh, he outside or something. I don't want my Patrol. I do not catch and release all my fish, no. I I do have a commercial fisher license. So, um, I usually catch. Hang tight, y'all. This go keep him quiet. Here, go in the room and watch Paw Patrol. Go in the room. Um, I usually go out and catch um the alligator guard like in a school base, catch a school of uh, alligator guard type thing. Um, so like that's me coming back with 20, 30 fish to where I'm selling to the fish markets. Uh like, you know, and I have enough to be able to sell to out to the community as a commercial fisherman. But um, some things happen to where they kind of like declined, but we're getting back to it. And this year is like the fishing is all messed up because it's cold as high, it's cold as high, it's cold as high, it's cold as high, and it's messing up the waters. Like that rain we just not had, it kind of messed us up. <clears throat> now, I'm, a, I'm assuming, Mr. David, you asking that because you see me throw back the bull reds and the drum a lot. I cannot commercially fish bull reds. But I can commercially fish um, drum, which I just found out. But the bull reds, you cannot commercially fish because it's like a game fish. The, um, the drum being commercially fished, they use it like to make artificial crab meat and things like that. So I can do that. And I will start doing that next year. But uh, I mean, not next year, but whenever the winter time comes. And they began to really run again. But um, as of right now, I really don't have no use of the bull reds and the the drums. So I, I put them back instead of just throwing them on a bank. That just don't seem right to me. So I, I put it back. I usually tag the red fish and put it back. But yeah. Yes. So I do carry a commercial fishing license, Mr. David. Anybody else got a question? Mm. 
But like I said before, new content will be coming out. Better quality and everything like that. It's other things that's going to, that's in store, that's coming to as well. Anybody else? Anybody else? Nobody? Artificial crab meat, yes. Is what they make. That's what they use the um the big drum, Troy. Did I throw back the black drum? They use that to make artificial crab meat. See, and that's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, you eat a lot of fish. You eat a lot of fish. I don't even eat fish. I do not eat fish. I don't like fish. Um, it's just nasty to me. I just nah. And I've seen like you know some stuff on fish that comes out of the water, and it's like as soon as it comes out the water, it's like nah. I don't see myself eating it. It's like disgusting. So, um, I don't eat fish. Now, when my kids ask to eat fish, they do eat it, but yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that part, Troy. That's what they use it for. So you may thinking you have some real crab meat and it's artificial crab meat. This person right here, that's the stop. I don't know what they say. But they they gotta stop. Right. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, and also, y'all, if you don't mind, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, could you go ahead and press that subscribe button? Because, um, Friday coming on the 5th, I will be, um, having a show and tell event <coughs> for the kids, and I will go live. That should be against the law? Well, hey. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that part. There is a lot of rules and things like that, but I don't know. Hi, how are you? There is a lot of rules and things, you know, with the fishing and things like that. Now, that part, I don't know. Well, let me tell you. So, whenever I went to um, my little spot in Cameron um, last weekend, they were biting like crabs. And I was like, this is weird. And the guy that was next to me, he was like, you got a garfish. And I'm like, nah, I'm going to wait for it to run because I'm not just hitting it. He was like, man, you got a trouble hook on it? I promise you, the garfish is holding it in his mouth. And, like, it would slack my line a little bit, then it would go out, slack my line a little bit, then go out. It just kept doing that like a crab. And for doggone sure, like, whenever it did that to him, he hit it, and he came back with a garfish every single time. And I was like, wow. I just couldn't place myself to even do nothing like that. Like, <clears throat> But he was catching Gar and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave them alone and wait till they actually get hot and the water warms up. But they are biting funny. They are biting weird. I'm not even messing with them because I know I'll get aggravated with it. So I, I'm not even messing with them. And I've never seen alligator gar and bull reds mixed. It's either one or the other. Like you either catching a, a bull red or you catching um gar and like right now you can catch both and it's like yeah the, the water is messed up right now because usually 
Um, the Boo Reds. Can you hear me now? Is it back? Okay, y'all can hear me now? Cool. Alan, you still can't hear me? All right, cool, 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 cool. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Y'all share the live out. Share the live out so we can get some people in here. Hi, Mr. Frank, how are you? How are you? I'm good. But uh, anybody else got some questions for me? With the fishing and everything. How's everybody's night? Where's everybody's from? Yo, please be prepared for... <laughs> I'm 33. y'all see this okay <sighs> so um Troy when are you going out to catch alligator bar I'm trying, girl. Like I, I, I'm trying not to get off because I kind of need to stay on. But yeah. Wait, um, Troy, you still in here? I'm trying to see. Rock is that uh Alicia? We can go. Um, I'm about to make you a mod, though, Troy.
Troy, you are now a mod. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate you. But like I said, we do have more content coming out. We do have new content coming out. We have better content coming out. I did um, collab with uh, SS Films, who will be producing all my videos from now on. Everything will be way better and on a different level than what it really is. So, um, some stuff is about to change with the 337 Fishing Queen and Crew. I don't know if SS Films is still watching, but he is. He was in here earlier. It won't be no more videos being taken with my phone. I will have a camera crew coming out with me um, to shoot all my videos um, and post. So, instead of the kids doing my um, recordings and things like that, it will be a actual, like some actual um, videographers or whatever you want to call them, out with us recording and getting the high quality stuff. Anybody else got some fishing questions? Yes, yes, yes. So, it's coming. It's coming. SS Films is still in here. It's coming, y'all. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate you. Thank you, Char, for controlling the chat. <laughs> Let me see what else I could tell y'all about. So for those that don't know um, how the 337 Fishing Queen and Crew got started, well, my kids and I went viral in uh, 21. <laughs> September of 21. I'm, that's why I'm trying to see who which rock this is. Like, I'm trying to see who this is. Before I put you as a mod. If it's who I think it is, I need to put him as a mod too. Hold on. Uh, it says films you are a mod. <laughs> okay, go for rock. There you go. You got the flu. Alright, so um <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. The 337 Fisher Queen and Crew came about uh, in September of 21 by my kids and I just simply fishing, right? Just our everyday life of fishing. So, um, like, one of our videos went viral uh, by D.L. Hubley sharing our video, and then it was placed on Baller Center, which uh, also took it to another level. And then multiple different other celebrities began to share our video. That's how we went viral. So, um, ever since then, like, we've been getting a lot of viral videos, like, in the millions. Different things, I guess. We just kept the, the journey going, and I just made it a business. That's when I began to get my commercial fishing license. And that way, the amount of fish that I catch, I am covered. So, when I'm out catching shad, mullet, different things like that, and I'm catching them by the schools, I'm covered. My I am licensed for it. And I can also sell. I can also ship. Um, I actually could open up a storefront. Uh, I have the license for all of that. Um, but as of right now, it's just really pretty much about selling the fish and making content, different things like that. Uh, until, you know, some other things come about. 
What's the best way for a beginner to learn a fish? Um, I say go to fresh water. Uh, because the salt water is like um, you not a single catch some big fish, but I say start off with a little Zipco or a little Shakespeare or something like that, and um, it depends on what they would actually want to catch. But as a beginner, I would say start off with like catching brim, sackling, and stuff like that. Um, possibly catfish. Um, it depends on which type of fish they're actually going for uh, upon the size hooks and the weight that they would actually use to catch that fish and also the bait. So, like, if they going after sacale, um, which they call crappie, and or um, be, uh, brim or something like that, they would use either crickets or worms or uh, some little shiners to catch them. Um... What else? What else? What else? That's that's fresh water, of course. Like I said, uh... oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Y'all see that coming by Essence Films? One lucky fan will get a chance to come get on video and fish with the fish queen. <laughs> Uh oh, y'all gotta subscribe. You never know, you never know, you never know. I appreciate my mods. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But um, I really want to start like teaching some classes to be able to show beginners, like you know, especially mothers and kids, like women and kids, to show them um how to fish how to start off and different things like that um but that's in the making that's in the air if i ever went get crawfish no no i don't ever go out and catch crawfish i really don't know any crawfishermen to actually go out and uh do any crawfishing with them so uh yeah Um, what else? What was I saying? All right, here we go. Anybody else got a question? Anybody else got a question? If there's anything you would like to know that's about fishing, I don't mind responding to y'all. The um the big seven foot alligator guard that I did catch was caught out of the Superior Canal that is in uh Cameron Parish. Mommy. For some reason, they are overloaded with like huge alligators and alligator guard. I I don't feel like as if people actually fish them enough there, which I I kind of think that um uh, I know not think but I know that swamp people actually goes there and they um. Fish that for the um, garf, I mean the the alligators, but the time that I went and I caught that one, it's like the the gators are just ridiculous, and the garfish they're really huge, but they're also overpopulated. Mommy. Yes. I'll wash your hair in the morning. All right. Anybody else got some questions? About the 337 Fish Queen Aquarium. Our fishing. Y'all, once again, we will have new content coming out. I'm going to need for you to get it together, Tay. But let me tell you, a lot of people don't tell you they really don't like freshwater gar they say they taste different like they taste dirty now 
the salt water, brackish water, alligator guard, they say is more cleaner than the fresh water guard. Also, the fresh water guard is a tougher meat than the fresh water and brackish water. I appreciate you all. Um, so, I really, I have seen some big garfish like in the Rayma area. Um, I've seen big, big needle nose and alligator gar there. It's just that after being told by customers that they did not uh want, you know, that the fish tastes different, I don't even fish it. I don't even fish it. But a lot of like the customers, they they just real life pays attention to a lot of that type of stuff, and they um yeah. From what I understand, it's a total difference in the taste and everything. Oh shoot. Um, go to Pony Shan. Try Island Road. Ooh. Oh, that's for everybody else. Because <laughs> I don't eat fish at all, y'all. Oof. No, no, no. I've tried it. Let me, let me tell y'all. I've tried um goofish is like super 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 oily and it's like really not nah, I don't feel like that's a fish you should be eating. Catfish is okay. Um fried or like in a couvillon or something like that. And a couvillon is in a gravy for those that don't know. But um yeah. Let's see. I've had shoe pick. Like, I made shoe pick patties. Uh, did the shoe pick balls in the gravy. Different things like that. Um, I've never had the shoe pick, fr shoe pick fry. That's a bullfin or whatever. What else? The alligator gar, I have had it fried. It's okay. I have also had it in a gravy. And things like that. Um, what else? What else? Catfish. That's what you like to eat? Whew. I don't know. The perch. <coughs> the perch. I have heard too many stories about the perch. And it kind of spooked me. Like, first of all, they got too many bones and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get it. I don't know. I can't do it. But it's fun to catch. And it's very therapeutic. A lot of people ask me why I fish so much. It's very therapeutic to me. It's therapeutic to me. It's therapeutic to me. Um, I can make money with it. And I can also take my children with me. You know, I don't have no worries. So... I'm killing a lot of birds with one stone by just simply going fishing and making it my business. But it helps me a lot therapeutically. Real tuna. Now you see, I had caught a um a Cravel Jack, and a lot of people were saying that that was a a type of tuna fish. I googled it, and it it don't that's. It's really not the, a type of tuna fish, and they said you they like they nasty or whatever the um the Cravel jacks, and they only use it for like shark bait and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. You saying some fresh tuna? 
Harley, right, come see. So, like, what do you do with the tuna? Like, you eat it like as if how we do tuna fish? Or no? SS Films, what you do with it? Can I please get a, uh, a box, like, ASAP? <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, SS Films, what do you do with the, uh, how do you cook, how do you prepare the fresh tuna out of the Gulf? I want to see this. Anybody up in here with some positivity? Ugh. Lord. Go for it, Troy. Y'all still in here? Cook it in a pot, of course. But I'm saying, like, prepare it how? Like, in a gravy? Like a cool video, like? Okay, y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's see. What else? What about bass? Do y'all eat that? Yo, I'm going to be real honest with y'all. These comments on YouTube is way worse than Facebook and TikTok put together. Y'all are so childish. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Bass fried? Okay, okay. Fried bass. Okay, so that's just like with the flounder as well, huh, Troy? I don't know, because I don't eat it. It's a swim. I like really like, don't eat fish at all. Like, I don't touch it. I clean it, and my children, if they want it, they go ahead on and they, uh, they um cook it themselves or my brother cook it for them or something like that. My stepdaddy cook it for them or something like that. But besides that, yeah. Which is also gonna be some content as well. Me cleaning fish and things like that. And I'm going to try to cook it for y'all. There's no, that doesn't mean I don't know how to cook it, because I can cook fish. I just don't cook it, but that'll be some more content as well for y'all. Cause I know a lot of people want to see catch cook, uh, catch clean cook videos. 
So we'll put that in to make it as well. Excuse me. Yes, catch, clean, and cook. <laughs> Go for it. Do you like, are you having fun right now? Because this is crazy. This is worse than the day that we had uh, those 700 people in the live and it's just was going crazy. All right, y'all. We're going to try this again tomorrow. Same time, 10 p.m. Stay tuned to all the new content that's coming out. It's going to be better videos. They will be filmed by SS Films. Um, it's not going to be us filming with our phones anymore and things like that. It's going to be an actual camera crew out on the water with us filming our shows. So, um... It won't be my kids holding my phone and you're looking at the ceiling sometimes or you're looking at the something the trees sometimes of the most of the time of the video and then it come back on us. It's gonna be an actual camera crew out there having you feeling like as if you actually on the water with us fishing. I appreciate SS Films for choosing the 337 Fishing Queen and crew to be our producer and to film all our videos and you know. Things like that. Um, I appreciate the love from everybody. I can't thank y'all enough, especially Cedric with SS Hills. Um, yes, go for it. So some things is about to change. The videos is not going to be the same. It's going to be in a higher quality and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And y'all see y'all tomorrow. I actually will try to go fishing in the morning and go live while I am fishing. That way, you know, y'all can see me actually catch my fish. Love y'all. Have a good night. Thank y'all for coming. Tune in and talk to the queen herself. Tomorrow, um, I'm, I don't want to say for, for sure time in the morning because I don't know how I'm going to wake up in the morning or how Colin is going to wake up in the morning. So I got to go off of that. But before I go live, I will post it on my Facebook page. So if you follow Fishing, uh, I'm sorry, if you follow Pickens Natasha, which is my Facebook page, I will let you guys know when I am going out. And um, uh, when I'm going to start my life for YouTube. <laughs> <coughs> but if you follow the Facebook page, you'll see when I start the live. But tomorrow night, I will go live here again at 10 p.m. At 10 tomorrow night. So I appreciate y'all for coming to an end. Love y'all. Have a good night. Everybody get some good rest. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.